Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna brew a dark tea called Fu Zhuan. Some of you mentioned that Fu Zhuan is one of those tricky teas for you. So today we're gonna brew together step by step and talk about how I decide to brew my Fu Zhuan tea. In this series of videos of how to brew different teas, I want to focus on how to do intuitive tea brewing at home. This means we're going to focus on the specific tea that you have and show you how to customize and decide what vessels to use, how long to brew, how much tea leaves you want to put. Brewing a tea intuitively would really help us bring out the best flavor of a tea. And talking about intuitive, it doesn't mean we brew the tea however we want. It's actually based on the tea you have by observing it, by tasting its infusions, and making our next brewing decision purposeful. Because in the end, we're not using the same vessels, we're not using the same water and we have different preferences so never be afraid to brew the tea different than what you were told and experiment with tea and find your best way to brew tea here at gen tea we specialize in fine tasting great chinese tea if you're also a tea lover please consider subscribing to our channels where we will share information about how to brew like today's video and behind the scene in tea farms and tea regions and much much more give me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful and without further ado let's get started let's start by examining the tea leaves fujuan is a pressed tea the unique feature of Fujuan is it's a gold flower. Gold flower is this little yellow dot looking fun fungus that grow in the tea. Actually, in processing Fujuan, there's a step called Fa Hua, which means encouraging the growth of these uh, gold flowers. There are many studies show that uh, this fungus is very beneficial to our body. For that reason, I won't be using a filter today because I want the maximum amount of gold flour to go into my body. In terms of a press, you need some experience to judge if this is a tight press or loose press. This tea specifically is a relatively uh, loose press. Because I'm sipping tea on my own, I like to drink a small quantity of it. So I only chipped a small amount of tea leaves, probably three gram-ish, and I match it with a really cute, tiny little guy one. I always like to rinse my tea wares. First, it cleanses, and it's the best way to enjoy the aroma of the tea leaves. Mmm, it has that dried mushroom smell. A little bit medicinal, like very gentle touch of the herb. And hardwood. It's a very unique and very calming kind of a aroma. I won't be rinsing this tea because I want the golden flower. If you are new to dark tea and feel a little bit uncomfortable when brewing dark tea in Gongfu tea style, the good news is. It's very, very simple. Traditionally, dark tea is usually enjoyed when it's fully boiled. 
So brewing in Kung Fu style, this tea doesn't really oversteep much. Of course, if you leave the first brew here for like 30 minutes, you will still have that pucker. But unlike oolong, which could be a little bit more sensitive to even 10 seconds, this tea is totally fine if you forget that for 10, 20 seconds. I let the first infusion go a little bit longer because it's a pressed tea and I didn't rinse it, so I need extra brewing time here. Very calming, leathery, warming aroma. And looking at the brewed leaves, they're just starting to open up. So I think my second infusion would be a long-ish infusion as well. Let's test out the taste. a gentle minty flavor in there. Very gentle, sweet, a little bit minty. Interesting. Mmm. Mmm. So upon this uh, sip, it's no doubt it's dark tea, but I feel like I did a little bit to the lighter side. I have that light mushroom, a little bit... Mm, wood chips. Not, I would think about the little pieces of wood rather than the whole slack of wood. Mm, I think I'm going to brew the second infusion a little bit longer. While the tea steeps, I'm gonna keep sipping the first infusion. It has a gentle bamboo, like a dried bamboo smell as well. With the dark tea, you wanna use boiling water. While this is brewing here, I put the kettle back on so that you keep the temperature high up there for me. And previous infusion, the liquor color was mostly gold or deeper gold and I felt like that was light. So my target this time is to push the liquor color a little bit deeper. Maybe a tinge of red in it would be something I'd like to see. This is the second infusion. Liquor color is a little bit deeper as I have hoped and I don't know if the camera will fully show this but I can see there are little particles floating there. Those are the uh, gold flower getting uh, infused in the liquor and this is why I don't want to use a filter. This tea overall, I think, was a very um, calming tea, but this smell has that refreshing, uh, refreshing minty smell that is a little bit odd, but very, very pleasant. Mmm. Oh, I forgot to mention the Wudran I'm using today is a. Uh, black tea fudran, which means it's a black tea then made with the fudran process. So when you look at the dry leaves, you might notice that there's still that uh, golden fuzz of uh, black tea that you're familiar with, but also you can see the gold flower. And in terms of tasting, I forgot to mention this previously, but this, the taste of this infusion really reminds me of that 
a little twist of a fu zhuan. It's not full on fu zhuan taste. There's some a little bit of a floral, a little bit of the fruitiness teasing. I really like the intensity of this infusion. It has that uh, body, the body of the star tea, and with a very interesting aroma and flavor combination. Uh, but I'm gonna do something different today. So usually, I will stick with this intensity, this liquor color, and in the next infusion, I will try to hit this goal again. But Okay, because my first infusion was light, and this one what I consider currently as the perfect infusion. I'd like to push my third infusion a little bit to the darker side. Let's brew that a little bit deeper. Remember I said dark tea was rather easy to brew, and you won't get too oversteeped. Let's see how it would taste like if I try to oversteep that. This is the third infusion. I'm purposely letting it oversteep. Usually, when you brew a pressed tea, you will notice a, a downward curve in terms of steep time. What happened is the first one, two infusions might be a very long one because they're pressed and you need time for the leaves to open up then following by a few infusions that are usually quite short because now the leaves is fully opened and the tea itself is rather fresh. So you want to do shorter infusions uh, to avoid oversteep. Then after that, gradually you will put the steep time a little bit longer, a little bit longer as the tea start to die down. So today's brewing video will be uh, quite abnormal like I wouldn't uh, brew this tea in this way normally but what I I think I'm trying to say is you know when you're new to a tea you don't really know the character of this type of tea you don't even know what you should shoot for as for Fu Zhuan and you don't know what's your preferences so how do we learn that well start by experiment Brew that a little bit lighter, brew that a little bit heavier. There's no the only right way to brew a tea. So don't be afraid and experiment at home and find out what you actually prefer. Even though I said this liquor color is what I like, you might like it much lighter or much darker. It's all about our own enjoyment because we're just brewing tea at home. This is how I usually try to establish my parameters when I get to learn a new tea. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I think I achieved my goal. I pushed that. Yeah, I pushed the liquor color a little bit to the stronger side and now you see a lot of redness here almost to that a cup a uh, copper color i would say reddish amber i don't smell the maintenance Wow, a uh, fresh bamboo leaf. I don't know if you have a experience in, uh, I remember when I was a kid in early springs, sometimes we would go out and pluck those new bamboo leaf shoots, new shoots of bamboo leaves. And that's what those kind of fresh cut bamboo shoots, bamboo leaf smell like. It has that juicy green sweetness there. Mm. <laughs> a 
Okay, this is very interesting. I was expecting something quite strong. It is obviously stronger, but it's totally sippable. So like, I think I kind of, with this taste, I kind of prove what I just said, that you can oversteep it, but uh, dark tea is very beginner friendly. You can really play around with it. What I'm tasting is a stronger, uh, like full bodied, richer texture with a little bit of that uh, bitterness at the end of the mouth, of the really back or the beginning of my throat. Like it's not a very clear bitterness. Like it's not the bitterness or astringency we would describe when we over steep a black tea or a green tea is quite different. In terms of the on the palate on your tongue, it's very gentle. It's it's quite interesting. But personally I found this is a little bit too much for my liking. So I would try to dial that back. I would try to aim for something between the second and the third infusion. You have to observe the leaves, the tea leaves, and consider where this tea is. It's rather fresh with some long steep. So how long am I going to steep this infusion? I'll put the steep time like in the video. I might do some cuts, but I'll put the full steep time there so you can have a sense of what I'm talking about. I always say that don't stick to the numbers. Do adjustment according to your situation. This is the force infusion. I feel like it's quite close to what I want. I'll have to have a taste and see. Mmm. Mmm. This is so far my favorite. I changed my mind about the second infusion. So far, this is my favorite. It 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 brings out a like a you know the red bean paste, the unsweetened red bean paste, that kind of a almost dessert like taste that I really like. Less of the minty flavor. A little bit sweet. It has that black tea sweetness also jumped out of them. Mm. Another thing I'd like to mention when brewing dark tea in gongfu tea style, many people learn gongfu tea from starting from oolong. So how do we usually brew oolong in gongfu tea style? We put a boss amount of tea leaf and do quicker infusions. The black tea brewing. Uh, mindset is a little bit different close to black teas or even green tea it's less tea leaf and slightly longer brewing time and of course i found personally this is my personal experience when i first get to uh, know dark tea i was a little bit underwhelmed because i came from that uh, oolong tea full booming aroma uh, you know very easy access flavor notes kind of tea and dark tea is definitely different um, it has its own charm and a certain point we have to force ourselves to put aside what we used to and enjoy dark tea with a fresh mind it usually features more calming grounding a very warming uh, style of uh, aromas. Personally, I really love dark tea in this deep of winter or very, very hot summer days. Well, this is a wrap for today's video. I will keep steeping this tea and I have so much fun experiment and uh, brewing this tea with you. I hope this is helpful for you too. Let me know how you play around with your teas. 
If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Until next time, keep steeping! Thank you.